The time will be. Remember, he was telling Daniel, I want you to know about the latter days. I want you to know about the time of the end in Daniel 8. He wants us to understand about these things. Because the last kingdom that will be is God's kingdom. He will rule. That is what the Bible tells us. One day, Jesus will come. One day, He will stream down from the corridors of the sky. One day, Jesus will blaze past the planets. And one day, the earth will shake. And He will come to this world. And He will set up His kingdom as He's promised to do. God is telling us that Jesus is coming again. What does this all mean? It means Christians should have known the time when Jesus is going to come. It means that they should be ready for His arrival. It means they should embrace Him as their long-awaited Savior. Amen. The Jews should have known. Christians today can know because the Bible tells us that we're living in the last days. The last kingdom to come is God's kingdom. I don't know about you, but that's good news. Amen. You see, all of this is surrounded in that whole experience of what we today talk about the death of Christ on the cross, His burial, and His resurrection. But the Bible has much more to say about that, helping us to realize that the Jews should have known what was going to happen when Jesus was going to die on the cross, when he, that He would be the Messiah, He would be the suffering Messiah, and that Jesus would be resurrected, and then one day His kingdom would be set up. But for you and me, we don't have to make that mistake. Now there's one thing you must understand tonight, very important. There is no prophecy that gives the exact time of Jesus' second coming. Are you with me? Mm -hmm. The first coming of Jesus had an exact time. The Bible does not have an exact time. It simply tells us that we can know the time in which these things are all happening just like Jesus said in Matthew 24, we didn't look at all of those, but we briefly looked at them. We recognize that Daniel showed when the time of the end would be, and you and I are in that time of the end today. The Bible tells us that the same Jesus who rose victoriously from the grave that Sunday 2,000 years ago is coming again for us, and He will end all sin and suffering forever. Now you know there is a whole lot more to be excited about than just simply that Jesus died and was resurrected. But you also know that in all of that, according to the Word of God, is evidence that Jesus is coming again Amen. very, very, very soon. I love this picture of the return of Jesus, an artist's conception. I'd like you to contemplate on the return of Jesus as our musician, Patty, shares with us a song. Listen carefully to her words and to what you see on the screen. Allow the Spirit of God to speak to your own heart. Thank you. 
I know you. How are you doing, Carol? 